In our game today, we'll be mapping the world of a story. To play, you need a blank sheet of paper and a pencil or pen. When you're ready, let's start this activity by drawing the boundaries of your character's world. Now, it has to fit onto this piece of paper, so think about how you want to represent this in the world of your story. If your character travels all over the world, you might need to make multiple places and you might actually have to do some zoomed in views. But for right now, I want you to just think about what are the boundaries of the world as they exist in my character's story? Does that include just her neighborhood? Does that include just his school? Does it include the whole country? Think about what those boundaries should be and draw a basic boundary, all right? Now I want you to locate your character by putting an X or a symbol where they live. Now, if your character is a nomad, they don't really live anywhere, choose a place where they will sleep on the first night of this story. So give them some location where they can start. It can be in the forest, it can be anywhere, but go ahead and give yourself that starting point. Now, in the world of your character's story, I want you to think about where someone might go to learn. It might be a school, it might be a training field, it might be a university. Draw small symbols to describe any place where people might go and learn. Now I want you to think about where your character might go to get food. Maybe they go to pick food on a farm or there's a restaurant that they often go to, or maybe there's a store, or maybe there's more than one of those things. Go ahead and put down any important places that have to do with your character getting food. Now I'd like for you to think about where your character gets supplies. They might go to a store to get clothing and tools and the things that they need, or they might order them online, in which case you might need to figure out where their computer is and then where those things come from if there's a warehouse. Maybe your character has to go to a particular place to gather materials and they actually make their supplies, in which case you need to figure out where those places are. Now I'd like for you to add symbols for any homes that you think are important in the story beyond your main character's home. So maybe you have a best friend, maybe you have a family member, a grandparent, maybe there is a antagonist in your story where you should know this is where that person lives. Go ahead and label where those places are. Now I'd like you to think about any important outdoor areas. Are there any mountains, any lakes, any rivers, anything that you think we should know about this because it will probably come up in the story. And then I want you to think about any important indoor places. There might be a city, there might be places that people work, there might be particular buildings that mean something to your character like the roller skating rink or the movie theater or a sporting arena whatever those places might be. If you haven't already, I want you to also think about recreation. Are there parks? Are there specific places that people go to have fun? Next, I'd like for you to think about where people in power rule from. There might be a capital building or a palace or something like that. You might have a police station and you might even have a place where people are kept when they're in trouble, such as a jail or a dungeon. So any of those elements that you need to add into your map, go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to ask you to think of two more places. The first is any place in your story that you think is quite dangerous for your character. In fact, I want you to look over the whole map and think, what is the most dangerous place for my character in this whole world? And I want you to label that spot. And then the opposite, I'd like you to think about what place in this world is the most safe for your character. It could be their home, but it could also be something else. So I want you to really think about where is it and label that. Now we've made this entire map and I want for you now to scan over it, think about the story that you've imagined in your mind and see, is there anything else that's important for the plot that you have not yet put on your map? Go ahead and add any of those last details. If you're watching this video somewhere where you can comment, I'd love it if you'd share one location that surprised you in your map or that you learned a little bit more about as you added it to your map. And if I've missed any questions, go ahead and add your question in because you'll inspire other writers to think about where that location might be in their world. I also wanna make sure that you know that below this video, there's an interactive writing tool that will ask you a few questions to help you think even more deeply about the settings you've created and how you can use them in your story to create tone and possibilities for your plot. If you're more of a pencil and paper person, there is a PDF at that link that you can download as well. You'll also find information about Society of Young Inklings free writing contest and tools for youth who want to write something bigger, such as a novel. 
I hope this mapping exercise gave you additional perspective on your setting, and we'd be so grateful if you'd share this video and this tool with your fellow writers and with writing mentors and teachers so that we can continue to inspire other writers as they develop their settings. In our next video, we are going to be developing a colorful cast of characters to join your main character. So I hope you'll join us soon. And in the meantime, here's to you and your creativity.